In this video, we're talking about YouTube Content ID. What is it and should you use it when releasing your music online? Let's go. YouTube Content ID is YouTube's copyright management system and it works like this. If I, as a content creator on YouTube, create a video and I use your music or your video that has been added to the Content ID library, I'm going to get a copyright claim that'll look something like this. Now, what this means is that I can't monetize this video. In fact, any advertising that's played on a video with a copyright claim goes back to the original creator, not to me as someone putting a video on YouTube. So that's the main reason why you as a musician may want to release your music with Content ID. But there's quite a bit more to it and that's what we're going to go into now. So how do you as an artist add YouTube Content ID to your music and more importantly, should you? Well, that's what we're going to cover here now. The easiest way to do it, especially as an independent musician, is to use your distributor. Now I distribute using DistroKid. I highly recommend them. There's links down in the description that will save you 7% off your first year on any DistroKid plan. Now, with DistroKid, you can release an unlimited number of songs, EPs, and albums as part of that yearly subscription. However, there's also some added stuff that you can put on here. So if we go in here and pretend we're releasing a new song, if we scroll to the bottom, you'll notice that you have this option here, YouTube Content ID. Now it's $4.95 per year per release, plus 20% of the YouTube ad revenue from matches we detect. So I'll talk about what that all means now. So remember this copyright claim that I talked about? Well, if you are one of these artists, then any money that is made through advertising on my video and this was my video for my Your Music live show where I showcase independent artists with their permission mind you then you will actually get a cut of that advertising revenue so in this case there were six different artists that had YouTube content ID so any ads that are run on this YouTube video all the revenue will be split amongst those six artists because the Content ID system has identified that I've used their music and a copyright claim has been created on their behalf. Now, if you want even more information, there's actually a really cool video right here on the DistroKid page. This is directly from YouTube and this explains what Content ID is all about. So if you do want to go ahead and add that, you click the box there and then you get all of this. So there's a lot of things that you need to keep in mind when you're considering using YouTube Content ID before you actually put it on your songs. Let's cover those now. Now there's a lot of information on this screen and you can hit the pause button and read each of these or just jump over to DistroKid and check it out. But the main point that you need to consider here is that you need to have created all the sounds yourself to use YouTube Content ID. And this includes things like free loops and samples and garage band sounds, samples from other people's videos. The reason being that once you add YouTube Content ID, you're saying, I own this, I have the copyright, I am the copyright copyright owner. And if you're using other people's copyrighted content or sometimes even free content that they're allowing you to, and you're claiming it as your own, that can actually cause trouble. So YouTube Content ID is really only where you are 100% creating all of the music, all the sounds yourself, and not using loops and samples and other people's music. All right, so you've satisfied all these requirements, you've ticked all of the boxes here, and you're ready to release. The question remains, should you? Should you actually add YouTube Content Content ID. Now, some distributors will charge different amounts. Like I said, DistroKid is $4.95 per year, and you do give up 20% of those YouTube royalties. So how much can you actually expect to make, and is it worth spending those extra five clams on your releases? To explain this, we need to go behind the scenes. This is a video that has had about a 1,000 views here on the channel. It was a live video, and it is all my own content. So I've made $5.94 in revenue for those 1,000 views. So let's call it $6. Now, let's assume that like the other video that had six different artists that had content ID claims, that's $1 per artist for 1,000 views. Now, you can extrapolate that out to 10,000, 100,000, a million. And again, this is indicative numbers. These are going to change based on a whole bunch of things like advertisers and click-through rates and a whole bunch of other YouTube things. But if you consider that, if you're getting your music used in other videos, you need to make sure that it's going to be used in monetized videos. So people like me that are part of the YouTube content program, the partner program, and that they're getting a significant number of views because don't forget you're paying for every release $4.95 per year and they're going to take 20% of that so you're actually only going to get 80 cents of that $1 from those 1,000 views so before you go ahead and pull the trigger on this and release your music with YouTube Content ID thinking that every time someone uses your music you're going to get massive checks coming in 
it's really not going to be as much as you might think. So consider that. If you're going to have a great song and you think it's going to be a viral hit and it's going to be played on everyone's YouTube videos, more power to you. Go for it. But keep in mind that the actual money that you're going to get coming back from YouTube is not going to be that much. The other thing to consider is if you want your music played on live streams and other shows on YouTube, many of those won't actually play your music if you have content ID on that song because they can't get any revenue. They can't monetize that. Now, my show here, Your Music Live, I actually allow folks whether you have content ID or not because that is a sponsored show sponsored by the wonderful Distro Kid who we've been talking about in this video. So it won't necessarily handicap you for every live stream and getting your music played at all but it's definitely something to consider if you want to make sure that you get the most exposure you might annoy some people if you have content id and they start getting copyright claims on their shows when they're trying to promote your music so in conclusion should you click that button and add youtube content id to your music being released well like most things in music and life the answer is a big fat maybe if you think that your music is going to go super viral, it's going to be used by every live streamer and every content creator on the platform, then sure, $4.95 seems like a good investment. If, however, you're not really sure about it, maybe there's better things to, uh, to spend your money and your attention on. So maybe you want to untick that box, especially if you want to get your music played around the internet. Thanks for watching this one. Hope it helped you out and I'll see you next time.